Where scrap copper is associated with other materials, for example, after having been tinned, it will frequently be more economic. To take advantage of such contamination, they try to remove it by refining. Many specifications for gunmetals and bronze require the presence of both thin and lead, so this type of scrap is ideal feedstock. Normally, it's remelted and cost of the certified analysis before use. Scrap of this type commands a lower price than uncontaminated copper. Let's see how North America's largest electronic recycling plants recycles copper. If you like this, don't forget to like or subscribe. Every year, the factory receives more than 740,000 tons of copper crystal and precious metals. Not only that, they also receive more than 100,000 tons of recycled materials. Once your scrap copper has been collected, the next step is sorting the copper. There are different machines used for copper recycling, including the copper granulator and copper stripping machines. The correct machines for processing is dependent on the type of the copper, such as a single wires and copper cables. The copper is then sent to the smelting facility for melting. The first step of the recycling will be the product sampling. The factory technicians will monitor the quality and statistic to ensure the most accurate samples. The next step will be to put recyclable materials into the reactor. The material is heated at 1200 degrees Celsius. The refining process with the plant's own technology melts the metal and moves into the Naranda conversion stage. The converter is a great piece of research. The converter will turn 80% copper to 98%. Copper with many imports is added, called a white metal, will be oxidized to realize copper from sulfur and make semi-refined copper with a 98% content. move to the next refining stage, which is a desulfurization, continuing the oxygen process at a 1200 to remove the last remaining sulfur. To achieve a purity up to 99%, copper needs to be removed from the residual oxygen that molded into the solidified plates and cooled by water. Recycled copper does not lose its basic characteristics such as string and malleability. This means the recycled product is a good and a new copper. Copper recycling is an important resource for numerous countries. But the process begins with the consumers and a business understanding the importance of recycling.
Copper recycling offers significant benefits to the environment, including the reduction in energy required for processing, conserving natural resources, and decreasing the amount of solid waste sent to landfills.